racist things. Really, really strong. The NWO being acknowledged by the whole WWE universe, brought together for the Hall of Fame, that's for life, brother. That's really strong. The following announcement has been paid for by the Firefly Funhouse. And this week you'll notice he's got the new reptilian in the corner, the little brontosaurus that replaces the vulture. He's on there with Hollywood Hogan. And these are some of the pictures that I got that I think are kind of interesting and unique. He's lined himself up with the Abby the Witch poster, or Abby the Witch picture. And uh, Bray, you know, Bray does crazy things. and. You know, maybe some of it's coincidence, maybe some of it's just... Maybe there's nothing to it, but when I look at this, I see a lot of weird things, and I see Bray doing some shape-shifting, he's, he's, going, he's going crazy to me. And it's really, it's really interesting to see him doing this with Hulk Hogan, because Hulk Hogan is an old-school practitioner of sorcery, in my opinion. I mean... Hogan's been pulling the Hogan's been pulling the wool over everybody's eyes for a long time, and it's funny when you hear guys like Bobby the Brain Heenan and all the old school heel announcers talk about Hogan like he's a bad guy. You know, he really is not a good guy. Now we see Bray Wyatt here imitating Hulk Hogan and you know doing the ear thing. And if you look at these reptilians or these hybrid reptilians, you'll notice that uh, their ears are always shape-shifting, their eyes are always shape-shifting, and Bray is just, his Bray with him, his teeth are always like shape-shifting, you'll notice a gap in his teeth. He, he, this is the first Firefly Funhouse where he doesn't drop a yowie wowie, which is surprising to me, but he does do some crazy stuff, so. This was a really good one, really interesting. And you'll see kind of the, some of the stuff that I highlight. His teeth right there are way jacked up. His arm right here looks like it's a, it definitely going into snake mode. And um, it's just crazy, you know? I, I Some of the stuff is unbelievable to me. And I may not be 100% accurate on all of it, but some of the stuff, there's no doubt, he's, he's definitely channeling his inside demonic powers. It looks like he's got a dragon tattoo here on his arm. He's definitely showing that off, a dinosaur or a dragon of some kind. And that's pretty obvious, I mean, that's apparent. We're not making that up. And you know, anybody that knows what that is, that's the, the pentagram. It's demonic. And then he, he's in tune here. You can see his tattoo on his arm definitely looks like a dragon or a dinosaur of some kind. And he waves it right in front of Abby the Witch. And you'll see some of the stuff that he does here is uh, very much glitched out and holographic looking. And, I, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put more into it than what That's we can see with our eyes here, but. A lot of people think that these reptilians have holograms that disguise them and I don't know about all that but I do know that this guy does have shape-shifting written all over him. He, he's shape-shifting all the time and he's definitely got the WWE Championship. And Vince, has, Vince has awarded him for that. And we've all seen Vince shape-shift. If you look at my video, you'll see Vince is definitely shape-shifting. And that's just too sweet. Oh, you're funny, bro. You got jokes, brother. And, and since when does Hogan kiss Goldberg's ass so hard? I don't need luck. I've got a fiend. Yeah, Hogan's kissing Goldberg's ass so hard. I'm never, I can't believe it. Like, I never thought I'd see the day. But uh, Hogan, Hogan. Hogan is definitely reading from a teleprompter, as was Goldberg. I mean, that's strong, brother. That's really strong. 
And I wonder here, why why is it that Hogan's in blue? Hogan's in blue and everybody else is in red when Bray shows these pictures. I wonder if there's any relevance to that. Just really interesting seeing both of these guys in the funhouse to me. To me it is. Because both of these guys definitely are the top tier of the WWE. Definitely selling a lot of merch. I don't know if Hogan is that much these days, but you go to you go to a WWE show, they've definitely got the Hogan shirts for sale. And a lot of older people are buying them. And then we go here and look at Bray's arm right there. If you look at Bray's arm, he's got little scales. And, and then we come here and we're going to see a lot of uh, weird things that happen with Bray's hand as he as he does the waving. And the arm looks like a dragon. And right here, this is this is one that I got that I really thought was interesting. It looks like a spirit coming out of the Abbey of the Witch, which I thought was really a cool one. And of course, you, you're not able to see this if you're going in regular motion, but when you put it in slow motion, you get this one that looks like a little alligator. I don't know. But you definitely see a lot of like glitching and holographic looking, um, holographic looking stuff. And, and definitely Bray has got the, brought in the new reptilian into the funhouse, and the funhouse and the reptilian is his arm or the dragon arm, I call it. Because you can see, look at the arm, it's just glitching and you got weird stuff going on with his waves. And he's doing it on purpose. I mean, this is very, this is very much on purpose. So I thought it was a, I thought it was a good, uh, I thought it was worth a Google, worth a YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, Leave some comments and to please tell me what you think. I mean, I really appreciate all the comments and uh, is any any ideas of what you guys think is always appreciated. Tell me what you th tell me what you think is going to happen in the Goldberg Wyatt match. I think I think Wyatt's going to lay him down with the mandible claw and Goldberg's going down for sure. But this is beatdown wrestling and that's strong, brother. That's real strong. <laughs>